Hi, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is Mr. Amos Kester, Bombay Flight Animal Scientist. We're back here in Kano State in the north. This is just a follow up video to the most recent video we uploaded on the YouTube channel. So, we're following up with the actually taking place here in Kano in the north, uh, northern part of Nigeria. So uh, we're going to walk you through the greenhouses and from here I'll take you through to the concrete pens inside where we are constructing the pens. So the whole idea is for you to see the space of the project. We just finished with the block work and the next thing will be to construct, uh, sorry, will be to prepare the soil inside the concrete um, the greenhouse concrete walk then we're going to cover it so after this space the next video you will be making from here will be the one we are installing the greenhouse itself so we're just going to walk you through now this is the first one on this extreme there are one two three down to the extreme end there is ten greenhouses so we're just going to go along now you can see we had some woods right inside here, very big trees. So we had to bring them down and tear them and use them for wood. So we need to level it out and in order for us to bring in the top soil because the soil here is very hard and dry. So we're getting in a top soil which we're going to fertilize using organic manure from poultry droppings and cow dunks to make a very fine soil medium here before we start growing the vegetables for the snails. So that is how it's been designed for all the 10 greenhouses. So this is the first one. Now this is the second one. You can see the type of trees we have here. They are really big trees. They are drought resistant trees. They grow very tall whether it's raining or it's dry. These trees are thriving all year round. So for the fact that we want to use this for a snow project, we have to bring down these trees. So we're going to take them out, on some level of leveling on the ground. So we look at all the greenhouses, and they are all well leveled. You can see it is also leveled out in order for us to have a good uh, platform for us to south uh, it's not an easy journey as well because we have to make almost two different flights uh, on the way down here but because we want consistency and we want the job to be top notch so we have to follow this carefully from the start to the finish so we'll keep upgrading you we'll keep updating you on the project we have here in Kano until we come to the concluding phase of it so we just walk you now through to the extreme end. So these are all greenhouses. <laughs> so this is the partition between each greenhouse. We have them in every of the uh, ten greenhouses. So between this and this, this is the partition. 
partition where we're going to have uh, a water trench like uh, when I talked about the water trench they were very confident they don't have ants in patients here so we are still contemplating if we're going to do the water trench or not but whichever way it goes we're going to update you on that but this provision is made for the trenches so that's why you see that in between every greenhouse there's a demarcation that is provided for the water trench so this project is well supervised right here all right so we are almost at the extreme end of it this is the ninth one and that's the tenth greenhouse so we have the ten of them all 10 of them uh, starting from tomorrow the block work is done so the next phase will be the installation the covering of the greenhouses now if you look down there we're going to take you inside we have five uh, rooms where we have 130 uh, uh, concrete pens in each of those rooms and we have an extension this one you're seeing here is an extension of the five rooms sorry we have four now one so it's an extension so i'm going to take you through into the concrete pens and show you what we are doing there right now but this is an extension where we're going to have concrete pens as well so quickly you inside yeah so you can see it from this angle we have all 10 of them well placed and well uh, constructed. So this is the extension of the concrete pens. Now we are using existing buildings before. That building I'm going to take you to where four rooms partitioned for broiler production. But we are designing it for snail pen now because the broiler house has been moved somewhere else. There's a close proximity between this boiler house and the uh, archery that is being uh, constructed on the farm. So that's why we had to move the broilers to somewhere else. So there's an archery that is too close to this. You cannot have a poultry they hold archery close to a, po a poultry broiler house. The closeness of the proximity might influence easy transfer of disease. So that is why uh, we are moving the poultry house to somewhere else, converting this into uh, a snow pen. So I'm going to take you in there, and this one is the extension of the snow pens because we want to get 650 pens. What we have currently now is 520 pens. So I'm going to show you what we're doing currently now. All right. actually belongs to my cameraman so i'm sure you're wondering why i'm carrying hammer and working with it so we we'll just drop it here and we'll take it inside all right so this is the door to the first concrete pen house so we have them like that it's running down it's over 200 meters but this is the door to the first one. And what we are doing now is we're covering the pens. This is the exact reason why I'm back here in Kano. We are done with the uh, block work. So now it's time to cover the pens. So in order to give the carpenters direction on what to do, I have to be here to make sure a perfect job is done. So we'll take you inside and show you what to do. Uh, okay. Okay. All right, so you can see this is the first partition. Like I said, we have four of these, and each of them is 130 pens. So uh, this is what we are actually doing now. We're covering the, uh, the pens with the mesh. So you can see they are doing a very nice job. Let's uh, okay. here so that we can open it for you to see. Okay. No. So this is how we open it, and this is the pen. So we are going to do the same for all of them. 
Now I've been here for two days and this is what we've been able to achieve. But the objective has been achieved because they've done this perfectly well. I can now travel for them to continue the process as I don't have much time to spend here. So that is how it's designed. So you can see the whole of this. Now if you also notice, usually we use two mesh. The wire mesh and the mosquito mesh. But here we use just one net because this is the iron type of mosquito net. The type of net you have in your windows, in your houses, this is the iron type of it. So when you have the iron type of it, you don't need the plastic or the other one they call Boko Haram wire. You don't need that. So with this, it is perfect to go. This can keep away reptiles and it can keep away flies. So you don't need the double mesh. So if you can get this iron mesh, that looks like the mosquito net, then you don't need the wire mesh. So this will also help to bring down your production cost. So this is what it is. You can come in, put that the jobs, see what it looks like. Yeah. All right, so this is it. So we are going to be covering all this. The last time I was here, the most recent video we did uh, was when I shipped all of this before leaving. So we have uh, four rooms like this loaded with 130 pens. So there's no point going over to the other rooms because the video is already long enough. So that's what we have going on here in Kano. So by the time we finish with this net covering, the next phase will be introduction of the uh, soil, treated soil. After we introduce the treated soil, then we stock up this part with the snails. So while production is going on here, the vegetation in the greenhouses will be growing for us to transfer the young snails into the greenhouses. So we have the greenhouses. They should be ready in the next one, two weeks. It will be completely installed. So hopefully we'll bring that video when we finish the installation of the greenhouses as well. Then we'll be stocking this. So while we're doing production here, uh, the greenhouses will be getting ready for us to introduce the young snails. So it's a massive project here we have in uh, Kano. And once again, thank you for your time, for following and watching through to the end. It is uh, a pleasure to always bring you these videos. So if you, in case you want to reach us in any part of the country or in the world, the number to call is plus two, three, four, eight. 0685250532 or go below the link on the video to fetch out the number. So thank you, God bless you, and bye-bye.